Hey there, welcome back to another quick and easy watercolor painting. I'm trying to keep this series super, super simple so all you beginners have a good starting point. Basically, I'm just wetting the top two thirds of that page and I'm gonna pick up some blue and you can see I'm just tapping my brush into that water at the top however much pigment you want to put in there. I'm just going to let it bleed, okay? And I'm going to pick up a little bit of Payne's Gray and I'm just going to tap my brush again, sort of creating a like a tree line off in the distance here, just like that. Just tap it, let the pigment flow to wherever it is that it's going to flow to. Okay, just let it go. And you want to make it a little bit darker, you can pick up more pigment and put, you know, right off the palette, put some more pigment into it. However it is that you want yours to be. And I'm gonna put a little swoosh of, this is some sienna, just put some sienna across the bottom here. I even pick up a little bit of this red right here. Just drop that into the sienna. A couple of things that you can think about doing while you're waiting for this to dry is, you know, you could take your toothpick or whatever sharp, not too sharp, but toothpick really works really well. Put some, some branches, some tree trunks or whatever into this off in the distance here. And just leave it like that. Just let that dry and then we'll come back as soon as it's dry. Okay, so we're gonna paint a couple of trees here and um, we're gonna make these trees sort of jaggedy trees, you know. Um, I guess jaggedy would be good way to describe them but you know they're not um, these are trees sort of at the end of fall you know they still have leaves on them but not a lot of leaves and um, you see I'm just tapping the brush right you see how I'm tapping the brush to get the, the paint off there and I'm just gonna touch these trees across the bottom with some fairly thick pigment and we're going to let that bleed <clears throat> to wherever it is that it wants to go to. Drop a little bit more water in there. So I'm trying to get you to think about painting in layers. I want you to think about watercolor paintings being at least a couple of layers, at least two, three layers. But it requires patience, all right? It requires a little bit of patience on your part as the artist. I'm just gonna let that. So I just put a little bit of sienna in there. I'm just gonna let that all do its own thing. It's gonna go to wherever it is that it wants to go to and just let it. Okay, don't, don't, um, you know, don't be a painter that's, uh, you know, always trying to force everything. Just let it go to wherever it's going to go to. While we got this here, we're going to put a little bit more sienna in across here, just like that. And look at how these little trees in the far background back there turned out. It's pretty cool. Okay, put a little bit more in here. And now, walk away, all right? Just leave it, just walk away and let it dry. Okay, so that took, um, took about 10 minutes, I guess, or so for that to dry. So we're gonna put in here now some tree trunks and we're gonna do it very, very slowly, very systematically. No hurry, okay? So let's just do this.
very, very controlled. And then when you get your, when you get enough of your pigment on there, you want to put some branches in. You can just go and take your toothpick and drag yourself some little lines. Okay, here we're gonna do the same thing again. We're just gonna put some pigment in there. And then this one, I'm just gonna take my toothpick and I'm just gonna drag my, drag my lines up. Okay, like that. That's sort of pretty much exactly what it is that I'm going for here. I'm just going for a nice, Gentle little painting, put maybe put some shadow underneath it. You know, you can also, you know, add in some rocky kind of areas if you wanted to. You know, I it's it's your painting, so you turn it into whatever it is that you want to turn it into. Thanks a lot for stopping by and checking me out today. If you're currently a subscriber, thanks a lot. And if you're not currently a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'd love to hear from you. If you got a question or a comment, leave it in the comments section. Thanks a lot. We'll see you again next time.